asteroid spotted just two weeks ago flies past Earth as close as our moon, Sputnik News reports. As we said, the, astronaut, the astronomers have told us, explained to us, that asteroids never come alone. They come in binaries or in groups. And it seems that lately they've been coming in in groups with the, all these uh, asteroid spottings, that, uh, the sightings that we've been getting. The, and they've even been coming out of their trajectories, seeming as if they're slowing up, speeding up, uh, and even uh, because of the Yarkovsky effect, coming off their trajectories and even coming onto Earth. Now, the asteroid dubbed NASA 2019 SC was first observed in the solar system September 6, just a couple of weeks ago. It flew on a close trajectory to our Earth. Asteroid 219 SC is a Apollo type rock on a trajectory similar to asteroid 1862 Apollo. NASA ranked it as a near Earth object, an NEO, because it was past our Earth while being close to the Moon. NEOs are the usual name for all comets and asteroids, all celestial bodies that come close to Earth on their orbits of the inner solar system. The European Space Agency, ESA, estimates that there are currently 20,756 known NEOs in the system. And by the way, they've lost track of over 900 of them. They don't know where they've gone to. Now, out of these objects, 877 have made it onto ESA's NEO risk list. Am I right? Is it 900 or is it 9,000? Anyway, it's just a tremendous amount that they've lost. Now, NASA estimates the rock measures somewhere in the range of 29.2 feet to 65.6 feet across, and that is too small to be considered a real danger. The asteroid missed our planet from a safe distance on Thursday, giving the Earth a wide berth of around 0.0Z or 0.360AU. 1AU is the distance between the Sun and the Earth. It's about 93 million miles. An incident like this took place in 2013, when a 65.6 foot wide entered uh, the skies above Russia, Chelyabinsk Oblast. That space rock exploded mid-flight, and it blew out windows in a wide radius, injuring about over 1,000 people, and also, of course, damaging over 7,000 buildings with blown out glass. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, and Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.